Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 6 of this RMS Celtic tutorial. Uh, focus of today will be the masts, the cranes, the cargo hatches, uh, the focusal details, um, and a few other things that I can think of along the way. Um, sort of winding down now, sort of getting to the uh, the last few niggle bits of the uh, design. So, saying that we've got the uh, main part out of the way, got the funnels and all that done. So now we're just heading down... Uh, well, as I heading down, we're sort of going down the route of all the detailed bits. Anyway, before we start, we're going to well, start. We're going to head to the uh, where the bridge is. Get down to the uh, the main deck at the bottom down here. So we're basically on the bow, uh, the forecastle area, and we're going to go right underneath uh, the centre point of the bridge. You've got the bridge right up there, and then you've got this centre line that goes right down, this, uh, right down the middle, down almost to the deck, uh, the main deck, and then just going to add. Uh, another two blocks, to, or another three blocks rather, to extend that line right down to the forecastle. So it's basically just adding that extra line, or c continuing that line right down to the base there. So that basically gives you a centre point and uh, a place to work on, or a place to work from rather. Um, so then we go on to the next point of this tutorial. Right. What we're going to do now is build the forward cargo hatch, which goes on the forecastle here. I'm going to go from this centre point here, and we're going to go and count forward four blocks, so one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block we start our hatch, so the hatch is you can sort of design it how you want, I'm just building it in white quartz but you can sort of use any colour you want um, to distinguish the uh, hatch, but I'm just using quartz to uh, that's the way I designed it on the, on the prototype anyway so what we're going to do is it, the, 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 uh, the cargo hatch itself is going to be 17 wide, so that's uh, eight other sides, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then seven forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then join them together across the front, like so. So that's the base of your hatch, and if you want to, if you want to do all the all the um, fantastic details and all that, you can remove all the wood blocks from the inside here. So you've got the hatch that goes right down to the belly of the ship. Uh, if I remove a few blocks, uh, you can sort of make the hatch go right the way down to the bottom if you want to. Of course, dark in here. Blimey. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can uh, get rid of all the uh, wood blocks in the middle there. Um, so yeah, that's that. The next job you want to do is find. If you're using quartz, then uh, by all means copy what I'm doing. So I'm just going to add a, a, sla a line or a load of slabs across the top of all the quartz. Sorry, I'm muttering at the moment or stuttering. I'm just sort of uh, trying to read my notes at the same time as do this. But uh, yeah, apologies there. I'm just uh, add a line of quartz slabs all the way around the top of what we just built, and then for the uh, lid of the uh, hatch or the hatch cover just go on the inside and add another load of quartz blocks like this you can see so you can see that the hatch blocks are just one block higher than the uh, rest of them and then what you want to do well I'll use, I'll use world edit to fill in the rest I do from corner to corner and we'll go set cover or there we go uh, I had a bit worried then I didn't think it was going to work but anyway that's the uh, the cargo hatch done. I'm just going to recalibrate fraps again because it's uh, starting to fit about again so bear with me a second um, I think it's working better now right so that's the hatch done now what we want to do is to leave a nine block gap so if I'm the center of the uh, hatch so we're just going in line with the, the center line on the front of the superstructure so I'll go from the front block here I'm going to leave a nine block gap so I just use red blocks to count that so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we start building our mast. So I'm just going to build it in yellow. I know a lot of people want to use tree or um, I don't know what other people use actually. I'm going to use yellow because a lot of a lot of ships of the era used yellow um, masts and all things like that. So I'm just going to use yellow. And a lot of people as well make the mast, you know, sort of you know three meter di or three block diameter. It's up to you how you want to do it. I'm just going to use a single line of blocks. So. Um, i just go from there. So I'm just using a single line of blocks, and this forward mast is 50 blocks high. So that's the the first block there, and then two, three, four, 
Wrong way. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, so there we go, that's the first mast, and it's 50 blocks high, down at the bottom, um, so yeah, that's the first mast, and then you want to add uh, a boom to the mast, so about, I don't know, about 5 or 6 blocks up, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks up, you're going to add a boom hoist for it, and it's going to be 20 blocks long, so build forward 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so it's basically a big well, must basically an L shape like that. So that's that. Um, and then if you want to, I've, what I've done on the prototype over there, you can see uh, there's a sort of chain going from the boom to the mast itself. That's uh, handrails, well not handrails, but iron bars. I've used to design that. Um, I'm not going to bother copying it because placing handrails in a, an order like that is a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to leave it for now. But you can see in the distance how they're laid out. Um, so yeah, if you can copy that, then by all means do so, especially roughly where the pointer is, like that. If you can see the pointer, but that uh, is where the, uh, how the, uh, um, hand uh, iron bars are laid out. So that's that, right. Next we head to the tip of the bow, and we're going to go about two blocks back from the, from the, the f uh, from the centre, uh, from the, the point of the, the tip of the bow. So one, two, say three blocks back. And you build one, two, three, four, five up, and then at the bottom you build one, two, three, four, five out like that. So it's basically sort of another L-shaped uh, mass, um, L-shaped per uh, bloody hell, what's it called? Crane. There we go. Right. So we get iron bars for this one, and we'll try and do a little design without uh, doing anything too taxing. Actually, I'm not doing it right in my bar. I'm just sort of giving you a rough idea. <laughs> don't look all that good, does it? But uh, yeah, I'm not uh, trained on this properly, so uh, oh, bloody hell! So you can see what I mean with these bloody handrails. They're impossible to fit, and when you move, or try to remove one, you end up removing the wrong one. <sighs> well, anyway, there's a couple of hand uh, iron bars representing the cables of them of the uh, crane. So. Uh, if you can copy that or do a better job, then by all means do so. I'm get fed up with that. Um, so that's why I'm not bothering to do it on the uh, on the main mast. So um, yeah, well uh, there you go. Right, next job is to add uh, anchor chains. Now, if you want to use anchor chains, well, if you want to build the anchor chains, you can sort of work out a uh, different design of what I'm going to use. Um, on the prototype, I used um, stone slabs, um, but I'm not really sure what to use to be honest, because there's all sorts of different things you can use. Um, you can use stone slabs, or I'm not really sure what else you can use. There's all sorts of things, isn't there? I'm not really sure what to use. Oh bugger! I'll go for the stone slab like I normally do. Get a stone slab, and we'll start about I don't know about eight or nine blocks back from the uh, centre point of the uh, main ma of the ma of the uh, crane in the distance, and we're going to start uh, about so the centre there. Start about one block off the centre and you're going to build a line of blocks, or line of slabs rather. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 blocks like that. Same on the other side. Another line of 20. Like so. So you've got a line of stone slabs representing anchor chains. And then at the end of the anchor chains you can add uh, a square a four, four or two by two, or you know, of uh, quartz. Same on the other side, like so. Sort of windlasses, and then if you get the railway track, um, I see a lot of people do this as well. It's quite good. You can add the track to the top to create the uh, windlass, and it's pretty good. So there you go. There's the uh, those things on the uh, anchor chains there. So that's that, and then uh, any of the details you can add. Uh, another one which is usually pretty good is the anvils used for the bollards. Now I usually place these in all over the place, but uh, so we'll get a pair of anvils, um, sort of about that, f not quite that way, but uh, that way that's better. So a pair of anvils there, 
on the side and then leave a, a significant gap and then put another pair of anvils a bit further along. So you've got just basically two or three pairs of anvils along the side of the ship, along the side of the folks or rather and another set there. So and then do the same on the other side, make it symmetrical so you've got the anvils on both sides. But I'm um, just adding detail around it. You don't have to copy it to be exact, you know, you don't have to copy everything um as I am. You know, you can sort of um make changes as and what you want. Remember this tutorial is just a base, you don't have to copy everything religiously. And you can uh, make changes if you want. So that's another set of anvils there, and then another set. Where are the other set? I'll just just buy the uh, down the side here. So another set just there, roughly parallel there. Yeah, roughly parallel to the back end of the uh, the cargo hatch there. Right. So that's that, and we've got a bit more detail together. A few. Th you know, it does look a bit empty, but you can add a few more things if you want to. Uh, there's a few more things as well. There are a couple of um, bow cranes. You can see on the uh, prototype over there. There's a, there's a couple of cranes. Uh, shaped like pyramids. Um, on the real ship, I think there was one, only one of those mass um, cranes, and they're on the centre of the uh, bow. But on the prototype of mine, I built two, uh, and they're on the sides of the uh, of the, of the uh, forecastle. So it's up to you if you want to add one to the centre or add two at either side. It's up to you. But uh, we'll see. Just bear with me one second while I sort fraps out again. Get it pissing about. All right, that's that sorted. Um, yeah, so the next job we want to do, like I said, depending on what you want to do with that, but uh, here we'll see. Right, so the next job we want to do, if you're going to build them to the side like I'm doing, then you're going to follow this uh, little uh, thing with me. So basically, on the corner, front corner of the um, cargo hatch, go about two blocks forward and then two blocks to the side, and then we can start building the base of the crane. So it's sort of basically a nine square like that, and then the cranes themselves. Are going to be. I don't know how high they are. How high are they? Oh, four, is it 14? Yeah, 14 blocks high. I couldn't read my notes. It's getting dark in here. Um, so, yeah, it's 14 high for the mass, uh, for the crane itself. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like so. And then on the top, you can add uh, stone slabs or whatever. So, you just add a stone slab top to the, uh, to the crane itself. Don't have to do this. I'm just doing it for a bit of design, for a bit of detail. So there we go. That's the uh, the main body of the of the crane, and then about two or three blocks up from the top, uh, from the bottom. Sorry. So one, two, say three blocks. Add the booms, and they're about ten blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten back, and then one forward as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, and the, what gives it the um, Pyramid shape in the distance. It's the same again with the uh, other other part of the bow. Is the um, iron bars. I'm not going to bother doing it again. Like I said, the iron bars are a pain in the ass to fit together. So I just fly over to the uh, prototype actually, so you can see what I'm doing. See what I mean? It's a way of flying faster because this is really slow. But uh, there you go. But as you can see, I've used iron bars to create the cables of the um, uh, of the uh, cranes. You can see they're sort of shaped like that. So if you want to copy that, then by all means do so. Um, if you can, or if you can find a better job. I know some people use spider webs as well. Um, but it's up to you what you want to do. I've, I've just used uh, iron bars for that, but I'm not going to bother doing that on the uh, model today because it takes so long to put them together, and when you delete something, it all goes wrong. So I'm not going to bother with that. So that's that. Anyway, that's the first crane done. So I'll do the second crane. We go down again. So we go two forward, two to the side, and then it's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then in the middle it's fourteen up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'll add the stone slab to the top. I'm gonna have to resort fraps out again in a second because it's lagging like hell. Yeah, I'll do that now. So bear with me a second. All right, that's sorted. Right now we're gonna go down and add the boom. Now so I've added the slab. So the boom is. Uh, one, two, three from the bottom, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> Same on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. That's both ma uh, both cranes done on the bow. So we've got a bit of detail on the bow now, but you can add a, a lot more detail if you want to. You can add a few, um, uh, what they called the vents on the bow. Just use a quartz slab, a couple of those. So about, I don't know, put them anywhere if you want. You know, the uh, the the um. 
uh, vents are about go about one, two, three, four, five up, and then slab, slab. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. So I'll put one there next to the windlasses, and then do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, slab, and slab. And uh, there's a couple of uh, things there. So that's the uh, those two vents there. There are a few others to go on if you want to add them, but uh, they're only a sort of a minor detail. And the placement is very. There's no sort of. Um, oh shit! I've gone into first person. Uh, there's no real um, placement uh, order of uh, the vents. They're sort of all over the place. So. Um, if you want to do them in place them wherever you want. Anyway, that's the uh, the bow details done. I may come back to that later on and add a few more details, but uh, that's it for today. Next, we're going to go to the area behind the main bridge. We've got the wheelhouse here on the top of the uh, bridge superstructure, and we're going to leave a three block gap from the back wall. So from the centre block, leave a three block gap, and we're going to add the second mast. I'm going to put the base block there, and the second mast is 38 blocks long, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's 38 high there, uh, so that's that bow mast done, um, or the second bow mast done, and that is, like I said, behind the, the main bridge, like so, so that's mast number two. Next, we're going to go a bit further along the sh uh, the line of the ship, um, and mast number three goes on the superstructure section, which is behind the main superstructure. So basically, the first uh, of the blocks, if you like, the block of flats behind the main superstructure. So you've got block one, block two, block three. So we'll go on to block one, and it's roughly the next mast sits roughly centre block. So I'll go find centre point of Center line longitude of the uh, deck and with the widthways. Actually, that's pretty much spot on. It's not an even number, I don't think, so that is virtually spot on. So, this mast will be 42 blocks high. So, once again, we just build up. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2. So that's 42 high there. Fly back down, bonk, to the deck. So that's 42 high on that deck, uh, uh, yeah, for that mast there. Um, like I said later, uh, in other videos, I've already said that would be more detail added there, like lifeboats and uh, davits and things like that. But there we added at a later date. Okay, now on to mast number four, and this goes on the shortest of the deck houses. So this is uh, deck house number three. And I've just realised as well I've not added all the do doors and windows to it yet, so that's uh, something for later on. So um, find the centre block again. There's roughly is it that line there. So yeah, same again. Roughly on the centre block of the uh, deck house, and uh, yeah, yeah, I do. And this deck, uh, this uh, mast, sorry, will be uh, 46 high, so it's about uh, four higher than that one. So we go one, two, actually that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the last of the masts. And uh, that pretty much covers it. So that's the masts. And there are booms to be added to these masts as well. So we'll just fall back down to earth again. Splat. Now, mast number two, which is the one behind the bridge, doesn't have any booms on, but uh, the mast number three and four, as you can see on the prototype over there, do have the uh, booms on. But they're the same as the uh, uh, the cranes on the bow. So basically, uh, three up from the bottom, and you just build out ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. And like before, you can add the um, handrails uh, for the chains or cables, or whatever, or spider webs, it's up to you. 
So that's that uh, mask done there. Head to the second one. Uh, mask number three, rather. Um, so like, like before, three up from the bottom and build out ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And same on the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so bear with me a second while I adjust fraps again. Right, so that's sorted anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the mast all done. You can add as well. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't really know what to use. Say if you say if you're connecting all the masts together via cable, uh, would iron bars work for that as well? I know the ma uh, over there. You know the um, iron bars look alright for the uh, rigging on the uh, lower parts, but for the top, I'm not really sure what to use. Um, I suppose iron bars could work, but uh, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, so yeah, that uh, I'll be for that. But uh, I'm not really sure what else to do for this part. I was going to leave the um, propellers. Yeah, I'll leave the propellers for the next video. So the propellers to do, the rudder, and the lifeboats, and then all the other details as well. So um, I'm sort of getting through it. Um, so yeah, there's uh, a few other things I could show you what to do. Yeah, I suppose what we could do, we can add the uh, iron bars to the ba uh, to the bridge. So that's what we do. We'll get the iron bars, if I can remember where they are. There. And we'll put the iron bars around the edge of the bridge. So there's no real details to add on the bridge now, so we'll just add the iron bars to the uh, area around the bridge. Uh, basically from the back of the bridge wings, around the back of the deck. Like so, and then on the deck below as well, from the uh, front wall around the edge of the uh, bridge in this area, and then around the other side as well. So that's that bit done there, and then the side bit, uh, which is directly by the side of the uh, bridge, basically on the uh, uh, the main deck down here, um, there will be a lifeboat added. I'm not sure if it's there or in this gap here, but uh, if I look over there. It's uh, oh, it's just uh, sort of half and half. So, the, so roughly about five blocks that way, five blocks that way, the uh, lifeboat will be. So um, a few of these blocks will be removed, but that will be at a later date. So uh, don't worry about that right now. Um, and while we're here, we might as well add a bit more detail to the um, to the bridge area. We get our brown carpet. I like a bit of brown, don't we? Um, <laughs> it didn't sound right, did it? Uh, so around the uh, edge of the bridge wings, we just add the brown carpet to add the uh, brown trim to the uh, detail uh, to the uh, tops of the uh, white section. So it, it really brings out the uh, detail of the ship, and uh, it does look quite good. So that's around the bridge wings there, and around the uh, other bridge wing. That's the bridge wings done, and then on the deck below we can do the same as well. Around the side, around the front. Probably these carpets they keep bloody. You see, they keep doubling up. That's the thing. <sighs> there we go. Right, anyway, that's the uh, front part done there. And there will be a bit more as well around the side. I could just do the front part as well of the deck below, but the sides I'll leave for now until the lifeboat's in place. Just to save a bit of fart arsing about. There we go. So that's the front part done. The side part I'll do later on when I add the lifeboats. But I could do um, the bits under here. So you, what you can do, the area in the promenade bits, you can add the, the uh, carpet in that area there as well. I'll do this lower deck because uh, it looks quite good. So if I do the lower deck, like so. Might as well just go along the whole deck, you know. I think that'll do for now. Actually, I'll do this bit as well. Uh, I won't worry about the stern bit, but uh, the other bit looks alright, doesn't it? So you got the. Uh, the carpets in there, so I'm gonna add a bit more. I'll do the other side at another time, but uh, I just thought I'd do, do a bit 
to uh, pass the time. So I'll do a bit around there. Doubling up the carpet as well, which is really annoying. <sighs> there you go. So yeah, don't worry about doing the top yet because the uh, lifeboats have got to be added on. But uh, I'll do the other bits uh, on the lower decks. But uh, really, really annoying when it doesn't work properly. I'll keep doubling up as well. I'll sod it. Right, last section. Do this. Uh, this side. And there we go. Oh, I'll do the the next deck up as well. Uh, I did start this one actually. You can see the cup over there, but uh, never got to be on that. So I just add the last bits. Bloody hell! Last bits along here, and there we go. That's the carpet all added in that area. Uh, still a few more bits to go. Like I said, along there will be where the lifeboats go. So I won't do anything there. Um, and I can actually do that along the front here as well. So if I do along the front of this main deck here, or the front of the main superstructure rather, keep doubling up for God's sake. And again, so that's the front part there, and then on the underside here. Right, so there we go, there's a bit more trim added there. So we've got a lot of the uh, brown stuff all done. Uh, oh, Mr. Block down there, got to sort that one out. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so that's all the, uh, oh, not all of it, but uh, a lot of the brown trim down. I've only done one side though, so uh, I'll do the other side um, later on uh, between videos while I uh, sort out the next bit. But anyway, that is a lot of detail done. So we've got the bridge, uh, not the bridge, the uh, the forecastle deck done. There's still a bit. You can add a bit more detail if you want to see. I can add a bit more, or still a bit more to do. Um, you can see on the prototype there's a bit of a white trim to the front of the of the um, prow of the ship, but that was mainly because of the uh, the shear of the deck. But I haven't added the shear to this ship because on closer inspection of the real ship there wasn't really much of a shear angle, so um, I didn't bother adding it to the uh, the build. So um, there we go. So there's no real need for the uh, uh, white trim on the bow. So you can add it if you want to, but uh, is up to you, but uh, anyway, we've got the forecastle, the masts, and a bit more detail done. So um, yeah, and I think as well in the in between this video and the next one, I'll add the uh, um, handrails for the um, masts. You know, the uh, the chain, uh, the the rigging for the masts. So um, something to do between videos, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the next part. Will be the um, propellers, the rudder lifeboats and anything else that I missed. That may be the last part. Part 6 may be the last part. Is this part 6 or is this part 5? I can't remember. But anyway, the next part will be the last part probably. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't remember what part this is, but uh, bear with me. <laughs> anyway, this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return in the next part, whichever one that is. So uh, bye for now.